Hey guys, my name is Jesse Mew, and welcome back to Stardew Valley. In the last episode, at the very end of the day, we went to go see the Junimos, and we gave them a little bit of pocket change for their troubles, and they gave us this giant chocolate cake. <laughs> they actually gave us three of these. Look at them, they're so big. They have three layers of beautiful little cherry at the very tippity top, and I thought what we would do today is try to take one of these to Vincent to see if he would like them, because as we have noticed, in our little sh social tab here, Vincent is at the very bottom. <laughs> he is not happy with us. We have offended him quite a bit, this little kid here. We gave him some pretty rotten gifts for his birthday, unfortunately, that he just did not enjoy at all. So I thought we'd make it up for him today by giving him this giant chocolate cake, and hopefully he'll like that a little bit better. But before we start the day today, I wanna just check the TV. It looks like there's another episode of Living Off the Land, so at least we have that. Let's see. Fish Focus, Walleye. You can find this fish on rainy evenings during the fall and winter. It can be found in any freshwater location. Okay, well that's good to know. I'm not exactly sure if we need to give the Junimos any walleyes, but that is good to know. Um, let's see, where did he say it was? <laughs> the, um, not the river apparently, and the lake. Um, it doesn't look like anything that we need to give the Junimos. Okay, so we'll keep that in mind for if we ever maybe need to uh, use it in a recipe, but oh, Jody, you're here. <laughs> oh, hi, Jess. Who? that was quite a workout walking all the way up here. Anyway, I came by to ask if you want to have dinner with us tonight. Oh my gosh, you don't have to, but if you decide to come, could you please bring a large mouth bass with you? Oh, Jody. <laughs> Don't you know that I'm terrible at fishing up things when people ask us for these things? Oh my gosh, it never works out. That's right. One of those big slimy fish from the lake. I need one for the casserole I'm making. Oh my gosh, <laughs> guys. Okay, well, it'll be at our house around 7 p.m. tonight. Don't forget the largemouth bass. Bye. Jody. why are you doing this to me? <laughs> Okay, so we absolutely have to get a large mouth bass, guys. She said it's by the lake. Um, oh my goodness. Hello, Daisy. Let's do all of our work first, and then I guess we're going to have to run straight up to the lake. I mean, it's not that bad because Vincent is actually Jody's son, and we did want to go see him anyway, so I mean, I guess this all works out in the end, right? <laughs> so we will actually be seeing Vincent today. I'm not sure if we'll be able to give him a cake um, during the dinner, so we might want to see if we can find him soon. Sooner. But oh my gosh, for that matter, I had a feeling that Jody was going to be a little bit upset at us if we gave Vincent a giant cake. So if we like slide it to him across the table, oh my gosh, she would be so mad. <laughs> She would be so mad at us, so that's going to be interesting. But let's see if the fruit bats left us anything. Nope, nothing today. That's okay, little fruit bats. You don't have to leave us anything. <laughs> and let's say hi to Fluff and Quill. Um, Quill, you are getting quite a workout today. What are you doing? <laughs> Having a nice run in and out of the uh, little chicken coop, I suppose. We'll pick up their eggs. Jody actually really enjoys um, the eggs, but we've learned that George does not. And we actually need to figure out what George likes in this episode too, because his birthday is coming up next. I believe his birthday is actually in three days, which is a little bit worrying because so far, um, George, I don't think he's liked any of the gifts that we've given him. So I'm not really sure what we're going to do. This is going to be <laughs> a very interesting experience to say the least. And I am going to put the rest of this trash right in here so we don't forget about it. I guess, uh, well, I'll keep the eggs on me just in case we see somebody who might like those. And I should probably put the iron away so we don't lose that. We want to use that to make some more recycling machines in the future, but I actually have to chop down a lot more trees before I can do that, which sounds so strange. We're actually out of wood. <laughs> it sounds really, really strange. But what I'm going to do is uh, go right up to the lake and see if I can catch a largemouth bass today. Oh my goodness, that was not in my plans at all for today. So thank you very much, Jody, for surprising me with that. <laughs> she ran all the way to our house to ask us to go fish up a large mouth bass for her by 7 p.m. so she can cook it up for some supper. All right, actually, we have that right in here. Enter Jody's house with a large mouth bass at 7 p.m. Okay, so we actually have to wait until 7 p.m., it sounds like. We can't come any earlier and give it to her. <laughs> that would be kind of silly, I suppose. So we'll go all the way up to the lake. I'm pretty sure she means the lake that's by Robin's house, right? I hope so. 
actually, I just remembered, um, we wanted to keep that amethyst on hand so we could give one to Abigail as well, but I don't see it in my inventory, so unfortunately if we see Abigail we might have, um, a bit of a problem. Hopefully she's not up here playing her flute. <laughs> Sometimes in um, the spring, I believe, she liked to come down here and play her flute in all of the bushes and the trees and green algae. Oh my goodness, guys. If I remember correctly, we can actually use the green algae to cook some sort of soup. Trout soup, I believe it was. Um, the fish are not biting today. This is a bit worrying. <laughs> There's an actual fish. Please, little fishy, be a largemouth bass. Please be a largemouth bass. Oh my goodness, now you're getting away from me? Um, oh, that's not a bass. That's a chub. Oh, oh guys, um, let's try this direction. Maybe this will be better. <laughs> this is not what I wanted to do today, guys. Oh my gosh. Um, let's see. Hopefully this is a bass. Come on, little fish. Um, let's see, that was perfect. Um, that's a bullhead. I think we had to gift that to the Junimos. I vaguely remember seeing that. Um, hang on a moment. Let's see, lake fish. Oh, we already gave it to them. Okay, okay. So we don't really need to, uh, give that to the Junimos, but that's something different. I don't really remember seeing those very often. Maybe this one will be better. I hope we've given them a largemouth bass before. Like, now I'm wondering if we've even caught one before. <laughs> that would be even worse. We're just getting chubs. Oh my gosh, um, I know there's a small mouth bass in the game as well. And I'm a bit worried that we're gonna catch that instead. I mean, we're kind of wasting the entire day here too. Goodness, Jody, <laughs> You just had to run to the house today, didn't you? Well, that one was perfect too. What's that gonna be? That's a carp. Not exactly what we needed, guys. And she won't take just any fish. She won't take just any old fish that we fish up out of this lake. We actually need to get her the right type of fish. Hopefully this one will be better. I mean, at least we're doing fishing today. Maybe we'll level up in the fishing skill. Maybe uh, Willy will get more stuff in his stock at his store. Maybe we'll get a, a new rod pretty soon too. That would be pretty cool. Because I believe we need to level up in the fishing skill for him to get more in his uh, shop. So hopefully this is all working toward that goal. <laughs> hopefully anyway. And for that matter, hopefully we don't have to fish at like, I don't know, in the rain or something to get a largemouth bass. I'm starting to wonder because we haven't found a single one yet. This is a little bit worrying. Or if they're only found in the summer or the spring, that would be terrible. I mean, surely she wouldn't put us through this if she knows that we can't fish it out of the lake at this exact moment, right? I'm going to feel really bad if I can't get it for her though. <laughs> I'm going to feel really bad if like we just don't show up at seven o'clock and she's like, oh, well, I, I guess we're not eating supper tonight because Jess didn't bring the fish. Largemouth bass, yes! <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, and our pockets are full. Okay, well, we don't need the green algae. Um, I guess we're keeping the broken glasses. Oh my gosh, guys, yes. Now, oh, Sebastian, <laughs> hello. Now we need to make sure that we are at her house at exactly 7 p.m. And now I need to collect my bearings because I don't remember what I'm doing. <laughs> so we managed to get our large mouth bass and we need to find Vincent to give him his chocolate cake. And uh, whoever we happen to run into, we could probably give them some eggs as well. And I also wanted to go up to the Adventurers Guild, so we might as well do that right now to go see if maybe we could get like a little extra pocket change for that lead rod that we are never going to use because it takes uh, too long to swing the thing. And I like to mash the button when I'm finding slimes in the mines, so that's just not going to work for my style. <laughs> Here you go, uh, Marlin, that's his name. Let's see, it's actually not worth that much. It's not worth that much at all, but it's pocket change, so there we go. <laughs> I guess he's not really interested in using it either. He does have a lot of stuff in here though. Actually, um, I wonder, this might be a little bit better than what we have right now. So that's something to think about. If we're having trouble in the mines, we should probably come in here and buy some new things. Um, of course, there's a ton of rings. I did want to look into either buying or maybe crafting some rings that we could use. So that's something we'll have to take a look at. I know I can craft some of them, um, at least one. 
Yeah, the sturdy ring, and it cuts the duration of negative status effects in half, which is pretty darn good. <laughs> I know these slimes can occasionally, like, kind of stick to you. They get all their slime all over you, and it makes you slip around or get stuck in one place. So it would be nice if uh, we had a little bit of a buff as far as uh, those go. But there's Linus. We haven't talked to you in a while, have we? I've explored deep into the caves. Oh, really? They hold some hidden secrets. Just be cautious if you go in there. <laughs> That's actually surprising. I wouldn't expect him to be like wandering around in the caves, huh? That's interesting. I feel like he also has a very mysterious past. A lot of the older residents of Pelican Town seem to have like a lot of history behind them. And I would really like to know more about what they do and where they came from. So hopefully as we get to know these people better, they'll kind of open up to us and give us some uh, hints about what the valley used to be like when they were around and younger. And um, it looks like, is that a piece of iron? Oh my gosh, it is. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so our trash actually gave us some uh, iron ore, which is excellent. I will certainly take that. Oh my goodness, look at all these fish too. Oh my gosh. Um, I guess we'll sell off the ones that we don't really need. <laughs> and these hazelnuts too, but I am not touching this one. No way, we are not getting rid of that one by accident. In fact, I'll put it right there so I remember to uh, use it and I'll put the glasses right in our recycling machines for now. And now let's try to find Vincent because he's gotta be around here somewhere, right? Um, I will not carry the cake on my head because I feel like that's ripe for disaster. <laughs> I'm going to end up giving it to the wrong person. I just know it. So let's see if we can find him wandering around here somewhere. Usually he's in the library with Penny. Um, it looks like there's a little quest up here too. I'm in the market for a ripe corn. Could a local farmer deliver one to me from Gus? Actually, I think we could do that. We might be able to do that because the corn keeps uh, producing crops all throughout the season. So most likely we will be able to give him a piece of corn as long as it grows in time. <laughs> as long as it grows before his uh, quest disappears. So let's take a, oh, a snail, a snail. I have to pick that up. Hang on guys. Ooh, mother catch. Okay, we actually got another achievement for that too. So that's pretty good. We'll fill that crab pot back up because I have way too many crab pots. And let's take a quick peek in the library to see if Vincent is in there. It's actually getting pretty late. Um, oh, oh, oh my gosh, that's Elliot. Okay, I didn't know who that was for a moment. He looked different with um, his head stuffed in a book. Hello, Jess. Hello, Elliot. Make sure and take breaks from your work now and then. Oh, of course, that's what you're doing too, probably. Actually, he's a writer, isn't he? He likes to uh, write. I remember him saying something about being up at the writing desk all night, something along those lines. So he really likes to uh, spend his time writing. But where on earth is Vincent? I'm getting a little bit worried now. <laughs> where could he be? Um, I guess we could try his house. I mean, I don't want Jody to be upset that we're coming in early, but I really want to find Vincent and give him this cake. That was like the whole Vincent. Oh my gosh, you're just coming home. You are going to love this. Look at this. Oh, he's so happy. Wow, for me. Wow, thanks. Yes, you are welcome, Vincent. We gave him a good gift. <laughs> I want to be just like my big brother when I grow up. Oh, Vincent. Okay, bye. <laughs> Okay, Vincent, goodbye. We're actually going to be coming by your house pretty soon. We have a lovely largemouth bass. You can tell your mother that we have it. Yep, just walk right in. <laughs> Ignoring Jess, don't worry, I don't mind. Um, Leah, why don't you have an egg? This is a really nice gift, thank you. <laughs> you are welcome. And can we give one to Sam too? Because we are spending time with him today, so there you go. Whoa. Oh, oh my gosh, I thought he was angry because it was dark red. <laughs> Thanks, I really like this. That actually scared me. Oh my gosh, so apparently we have six hearts with him now and that turns that little dot red. Okay, good to know. Um, He is the highest at the moment. He's pretty much full on the list, which is pretty neat. And then we have Abigail and Pam and Shane and Emily, all of our good friends in Stardew Valley. We're making friends with a lot of people here. Vincent has a heart, guys. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that is excellent. That is just what I wanted to see. Vincent actually has a heart after we gave him that gigantic chocolate cake. And we have two more in the fridge. If we need to give him another gift, then I have a feeling he'll be very, very happy with that. So I want to take a quick peek 
at the calendar up here because yes, there, oh my gosh, it's actually on the um, 24th. I thought his birthday was on the 25th, but it's on the 24th, guys, and we still haven't found anything that he likes. Oh my goodness. I don't know what we're going to give him. He doesn't like eggs, so we can't give him our fresh eggs from the chicken coop. He likes leeks. Um, Evelyn told us that he likes leeks, but of course we can only find those in the spring, so I don't have a single leek left to give him, and I am very upset about that. <laughs> she actually said it's like his very favorite thing, and I, I was really looking forward to giving him one, but unfortunately I used them all. I think I ate them all when we were exploring the mines, so I wasn't able to do that. And I think we tried giving him a spring onion, if I remember correctly, but like that was even worse. He absolutely hated it. Oh gosh, guys, I really don't know what we're going to do, but it's almost 7 p.m., so we need to go stand by uh, Jody's door here and get ready to go in because I don't want to miss this. There we go. There we go. <laughs> oh my gosh, she's running, running out. Oh, hi, Jess. Come in. Do I smell fresh fish? Yes, you do, Jody. Yes, you certainly do. We actually caught you a largemouth bass. It took a while, but we did it. <laughs> Sam, could you come in here and help me with dinner? Uh, <laughs> yes, ma'am. <laughs> he doesn't look too happy about that. My goodness. I guess Sam doesn't like to cook very much, does he? <laughs> Just put it on the floor. Don't worry. Wow, this looks like quality bass, Jess. Thank you so much for bringing this. You're welcome, Jody. <laughs> oh my gosh. That is adorable. Mmm, that crispy bass was delicious. The breading was out of this world. <laughs> I almost feel like part of the family now. Oh, that's so sweet. Oh, that's really nice. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so we're actually becoming really good friends with that entire family. Of course, Sam. Um, and where is Jody? She has uh, four hearts right now. And we're, you know, slowly getting there with Vincent. Uh, slowly but surely. <laughs> and we are certainly going to get on his good side with those giant chocolate cakes. Even if Jody is not going to be very impressed with us for doing so. I think that's probably a good idea to give him all of those delicious cakes. <laughs> Hopefully he won't tell her about them. Hopefully we'll just keep that a secret between us. That would be the uh, best way to go about these things, I have a feeling. <laughs> and maybe what we should do, since we have a little bit more time to the night, it is uh, still pretty early anyway to uh, tuck Jess into bed, we'll go down here and try to chop some trees down because we need so much wood. I think I'm going to have to spend a day out here just chopping trees again. I have a feeling that I'm going to have to do that because we definitely need more wood in our pockets. At the moment, I think we're basically down to zero. So we have all these trees on the farmland anyway, and we do eventually need to clear this out. I was hoping that in the wintertime, I could spend time kind of remodeling the farm so it would help to have this place clear. And, uh, I mean, there's so many trees. <laughs> there's so much area for us to actually, uh, clear out and work on. I think I've basically cleared out all of the area around here. Um, there is some grass over here still, which is actually pretty good for us because we do need to keep gathering hay. Um, in the wintertime, they've told us that we will not be able to gather any hay for our uh, chickens and any other animals that we might have at the time. So we need to make sure that they have enough to survive through the winter. Um, of course, our two chickens are just fine. We have plenty of hay for them because they only eat two pieces of hay a day. Though the plan was to possibly get two more chickens before winter rolls around. So hopefully we'll be able to do that. And I believe I did the math behind it all and we should also have enough hay for um, two more chickens. So <laughs> nothing wrong with that. It would be if we got um some new animals that we would have to worry maybe build another silo before we thought about doing that but i think that's pretty good we ended up with uh 63 pieces of wood just from that short bit of chopping and we have one piece of wood left in here guys oh my goodness um okay so that's a good thing that we chopped down some trees i guess um i put the rest of my materials in there i'll bring out the stone and go get my little pieces of iron out of here and hopefully we can make a couple more of these recycling machines there we go two more and that might be enough honestly like i don't want to go completely crazy i know when these new things show up in these sort of games i just go off the wall and i make everything that i possibly can and it's probably not a good idea <laughs> but what i would like to do is maybe move these down toward on the pond so we can fish up all of that trash that we always find and then um, maybe 
get some new items out of them, especially like we found that we could get iron just from the regular trash. And you know, we've tried basically every type of trash. We tried um broken CDs and the glasses, but what about Joja Colas? What do you think we'd get out of this? I'm gonna try, like, can we even put this in there? Um, no, okay. <laughs> we can't even put that in there. Okay, that's good to know because I was curious. I know they, uh, oh my gosh, the bees. The bees just gave us honey in the middle of the night. Alrighty then, <laughs> we'll go collect that. Um, but yeah, I was curious because they call Joja Cola trash and we did give one Joja Cola to uh, Sam just for the heck of it because we figured, you know, he always seems to ask for Joja Cola so surely he enjoys them. And he did, even though they call them trash, he did enjoy the Joja Cola. But I figured, you know, maybe, maybe there's some other way that we could use it. Um, but now we have two jars of honey, so that's pretty good too. And I think actually that when we make food in our kitchen, it also takes food from the fridge. It seems that way anyway, because I don't have any fish in here, but it's still saying I could make sashimi and like, I don't have any eggs in here and it still says I can make fried eggs. So that's pretty neat. If we put all of our ingredients into this fridge, then we can still use them without taking them out to uh, make different types of dishes. So that is really neat. I really like that little uh, detail that they've added to the game. It makes it a little bit easier anyway. <laughs> but now it is officially getting late. So we should probably tuck Jess into bed and call it a day. So in the next episode, we are really going to have to figure out what we're going to give George for his birthday because we are running out of time, guys. <laughs> We are really running out of time. So if you have any ideas for George, because so far all of my ideas have failed us, <laughs> then just let me know. But thank you guys so much for watching today and I will see you all next time. Bye.